<laughs> At the last Org Development and Change conference I attended here, uh, I made some assertions, caused some revolutions, so we'll see if I can continue. One of the things I said is there's no ground and no theory and grounded theory. The second thing I said is there, and that's because of the inductive fallacy. It jumps to a population inference based on usually small samples. Then the action research, where's the action? And where's the research? And when I'm looking at the handbook of action research, I have trouble finding it. And that's because it doesn't meet the scientific methods that I once studied. I learned it as a science, but somehow it seems to have gotten lost. Then, I really want to bring in two new topics today. First, I think ODC and its socioeconomic approach to management are in the minority. If you look at who's really the consulting firms that are influencing the corporations in the Fortune 500, it's neither of these. Finally, I want to look at Martin Parker's idea that we should bulldoze the business schools. We need to just dismantle them and start over. Uh, and the reason he does this is because uh, I mean, Lyon, for example, has a much better program, I'm going to end on that, on a model for a, a really good sustainable business school. Now, uh, if we look at grounded theory, and I won't be able to cover all this, I have to move fast or Veronique's going to kick me off the stage. Uh, so you can see this on the books that are online at the website, you can download it. Uh, the first wave of grounded theory in 1967 had a lot of hasty generalizations and had an error of induction. The second wave, the coding, they thought, oh, we'll code everything, we'll be really anal and code, it, code all these interviews. But then, okay, it still doesn't make it generalizable, even if you do a lot of anal coding. And then we had the social construction wave, which is, we're still in. And I'm sorry, but there is a material world out there, and it is in crisis, and we need to read Bob's book, because I also have a chapter in there. <laughs> yeah, you didn't mention me. So. For a really good ending, I want to focus on Ivy Lyon, which I think is a really wonderful business school model. Let's take a look at it. Are you tired of all the fake storytelling in the Trump administration? Say, hey. Okay, you're not really that tired, are you? You like fake storytelling. You want to be misled. So here we have the 17 UN Sustainability Goals. But what business schools are starting to do that I think are more... Get rid of the fake storytelling and develop a true storytelling for the business schools. We're starting to see the implementation of what is the true storytelling, how to plan the future, when and where to do the projects, etc and reflect on the outcomes. You yourself must be true and prepare the energy and effort for a sustainable future. To learn more go to davidboji.com slash Lyon. Be sure to come to our summer conference that's happening in December in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Thank you.